Well, another magnificent dinner. Thank you. I certainly have a way with berries, don't I? Yes, you do. But what are we going to do about tomorrow? Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll catch you some fish or a rabbit. No, no rabbits. I had a pet rabbit. <laughs> I couldn't possibly eat one. Okay, you get stranded here long enough, Chimney Cricket's going to start to look good to you. Yeah. Tired? Yeah, I am. Actually, I'm exhausted. But I don't think I could really sleep. Well, what a shame that we didn't bring our books, right? Hmm. Hey, did you ever do those little, um, you know, those shadows on the wall? In your room? Hello, Contessa. Don't call me that. <laughs> Stop it. Don't say that. I spy with my little eyes something... Dark, wet, dirty, gloomy. Hey, don't call me that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we're just simply going to have to go to the movies. What do you want to say? Um, Swiss Family Robinson. Okay, but without the kids, just you and me. Doesn't play without the kids. Um, swept away? No, they argue too much. Well, I think I'm too old for Blue Lagoon. Why don't we just make up our own movie? Okay. Go ahead, you first. Okay. <clears throat> this man and this woman meet on a train. Going nowhere in particular. But that's the way they planned it. Just getting away. From what? Neither one will say. But there's this connection between the two of them. Even though they're both from completely different worlds. And they have absolutely nothing in common. They're drawn to one another. Like orphans in a storm. They say that they're together just for companionship. Just to... Kill some time on their long journey. And they cling to this lie, even as they start to realize that it's something more, something special, something passionate. They lay awake at night, and they think about each other, and they toss and turn, and come up with all the obvious reasons why it will never work. And it'll probably end as soon as the train reaches its destination. But then on the last night, instead of getting off the train, they reach out to one another in the darkness. for me. I'm ready to get some sleep. You're awfully far away from the fire. If I get any closer to you tonight, that train may never stop.
looking pretty nasty out there, huh? Yeah. Some bear doesn't decide to use this place for a motel. What? You're joking, aren't you? Half. What do you mean? You think that's really possible, that a bear would come in here? <laughs> well, in this world, I think anything's possible. Not there for a little homespun philosophy. I don't like it. I wish you would philosophize about a way to get us out of here. Well, we're not going anywhere in this weather. Well, I know. I just mean after the storm is over, that's all. Well, I will, I'll go outside and check things out since it clears up. Okay. You okay? Yes. I'm cold. I'm cold. Mm -hmm. Stay close to the fire. Let's see what I got left here. kind of nice seeing their faces sometimes, remembering where I came from. Oh, yeah? Just what the hell? Yeah, well, if I was that crazy about them, I guess I'd go visit them. Instead of remembering them like this. Oh, I don't know. Sometimes it's easier just to have a picture of somebody that way. It's just a picture. It's not a person who might actually want something from you. I do say so myself. Of course, it always helps if the model was incredibly gorgeous. Thanks. For the outfit or the compliment? <laughs> For both. I needed both. <sighs> Tell me something. You never did say. travel around all the time because you don't want to get close to somebody? What is this, a loaded question? I don't think I'm into this game right now. I'm gonna go try to catch some fish. I shouldn't have asked you those questions. I, I really didn't have any right to pry like that. That's ah, okay. Really, I don't, I don't want to argue about it. I mean, I'm, I'm too hungry to argue about it. Did you say, what is that? Do you have something to eat? Uh, yeah, I think I do. How does that look? Wow. I didn't even have to catch this guy. I just whistled for him and he jumped in my lap. Oh, must be just something about you. It drives trout crazy. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't think that fire is going to be hot enough to cook it. Well, you take care of this. No! I'll take care of the fire. No, no, no. What? I'm not touching it. Come on, you're going to cook the fish. No, I'm not. <laughs> Somehow I knew that the handling of raw fish was not in your repertoire. <laughs> I like sushi. That's well, about it. I do too, but we're going to cook this guy, okay? And it's going to be the best fish you've ever tried. Okay. It's all yours. I believe you that it's going to be very good. Tell me something. Are you 
as good at everything as you are at catching fish and, I hope, cleaning them? I just act like I am. You'd be surprised how often a cocky attitude can pass for great skill. I don't believe you, though. I think you're being modest. Nope. My poor mother made the mistake when I was a little kid of telling me that I was God's gift to the world. She just forgot to tell me the part about her being the only one who thought so. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Sometimes when you're telling me things, I really don't know what I'm supposed to believe. And what I'm supposed to know is fabricated. Good. No, I would say that Probably half of what I say is true, and the other half is Blarney. But I'm not going to tell you which is which. You're Irish, aren't you? How can you tell? Oh, I can tell. I can tell because of your smile. And the way you like to tell stories. I do like to tell stories. Does that bother you? No. Is that good or bad? You don't need more complications in your life. You're the most incredible woman I've ever met. I'm just not sure I'm the guy that can turn things around for you. I just don't want this to be something that in a day or a week you're going to regret. <sighs> day or week? I don't know what I'm going to be feeling in an hour. Stop raining out, huh? I want to go get some more wood. I don't have a husband. I divorced him. A 
very hard decision, but I felt that I couldn't go back. That part of my life is over for good. I don't know what I expect from you. I certainly don't know what I expect from myself. Who's smart of you to stop? some more wood for the fire. Don't specimen available for rumps in the hay with equally perfectly <laughs> specimen females. No, wait a minute. I... That's just the furthest thing from my mind right now. I'm sorry. I didn't... No, I'm, I'm sorry if I didn't make you feel what, what being with you means to me. You have. I guess I'm just having a little problem accepting it or something. I don't know. Get over it. Okay. Good. <laughs> yeah, I got some. <clears throat> I'll get this when I went out. Oh, pretty. It's ironweed. It's a tough little plant. You can't kill it. It grows everywhere. I really like it. it smell. It's a great smell. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things that 
no one ever really notices. It kind of reminds me of myself. Something everyone's seen, but never really noticed. Until you. Okay, you're saying we should... That fish was great. What'd you put on it? Not telling. You're not telling. <laughs> well, then you're gonna have to start cooking for me all the time because I'm spoiled now. <laughs> Maybe we should just stay here. Uh, your family's probably out looking for you by now. No, they're not. I'm sure they haven't heard about the storm or that there. They weren't expecting to hear from me. Well, then I guess we can renew the lease on our cave. It's nice for most places I've stayed in. I like it. I mean, look at it. It's got potential. I mean, you just... Yeah, I mean, you just put a little sheet rock right here, okay? And you lower the ceiling, and, uh... Over there. Nice little four-poster bed, which I know you can make in no time at all, because you're very good with your hands. <laughs> <laughs> and over there, a little armoire, so that I can have a little place where I change it. We should go out there and light a fire on one of those rocks so that they can see us. Yeah, I guess we should do that. <laughs> 